Hi there, hope you're having a wonderful day. Before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supports this channel. I reached a milestone recently that I never thought I would reach, which was 100 subscribers. So thanks for that, and cheers. So on with the video. So, Flat Earthers claim that there is no South Pole star, and that they have uh, Polaris to the north, which is about half a degree away from the north celestial pole, but we have nothing in the south. So I decided to get myself some evidence. So I went out with uh, my D3400 and I shot some star trails. And for those interested, it was shot with a zoom of 18 millimeters at F8 with ISO 400 sensitivity. With about a 10 minute exposure, I think it said it was 716 seconds. And with a 10 minute exposure, you will get to see the stars actually run those streaks across the image, uh, showing that uh, there is some sort of movement there, which is generally accepted to be the rotation of the Earth that we stand on. So when this image was taken, the camera was pointed towards the general vicinity of the South Celestial Pole. And if you look towards the bottom middle of the screen, the star trails appear to get shorter and shorter. This is because they are relatively close to the South Celestial Pole. Now, Flat Earthers make all kinds of crazy claims, like the South Celestial Pole doesn't exist, like there is no South Pole star, uh, that there are no stars in the vicinity of the South Celestial Pole because it's not actually an axis point of any kind, that it's something completely different. So what we're going to do in this video is refute many of those claims. And we're also going to show you that there is a star closer to the South Celestial Pole than Polaris is to the North Celestial Pole. Now, I took this photo, so I know it's real. But how do you know it's real? So let's authenticate it. So, did I just rotate the camera looking at the stars? Well, if we look at the trees in the foreground, they don't appear to be blurred. So, the camera was stationary during the shot. Well, the next thing is, is it actually just a shot of the North Celestial Pole in some way, shape or form? Well, let's have a look at the stars in the, in the image and uh, see if we can identify them. So, looking at the middle top of the screen, you'll see... Alpha and Beta Centauri, and if we look to the right of those, we'll see the Southern Cross. So it definitely appears that this image is a shot of the Southern Skies. Next, we're going to zero in on the South Celestial Pole. So now that we've identified these two constellations, we can draw a line perpendicular to the line that would connect Alpha and Beta Centauri, and also another line through the centre of the Southern Cross. And this gets us in the general vicinity. So let's zoom in. So now we're looking up close, and you can see there are a lot of stars in that area of the sky. Now what we need to do now is draw some lines perpendicular to the star trails around the edges to identify the exact centre of where the South Celestial Pole is. And where those lines intersect is our point. So I've marked down everything here. We've got the South Celestial Pole. Sigma Octantis on the left-hand side of the South Celestial Pole there, which is roughly a degree away. And then we've got another star called HIP 71348. Now looking at HIP 71348, it is a mere nine minutes away from the South Celestial Pole. It is less than one-sixth of a degree away from the South Celestial Pole. Now, Sigma Octantis is just over one degree away from the South Celestial Pole. And I've heard it called names like uh, Polaris Australis uh, and the Pole Star and things like that. But I've also seen on a chart HIP 71348 actually called the Pole Star. Now, I don't believe that HIP 71348 is going to be visible to the naked eye in any way, shape or form. It is closer to the South Celestial Pole than Polaris is to the north. 
And in fact, if you look there, there are several stars in the vicinity of the South Celestial Pole that would be easily closer than Polaris is to the North Celestial Pole. Now, this isn't a competition. I'm sure that there are stars closer to the North Celestial Pole than Polaris that aren't perceptible to the naked eye. I'm just merely stating the facts. Now, my goal in this video is not to embarrass anybody or point the finger at anybody. I just want to correct some misinformation that's out there that flat earthers are claiming. So in this video, you should be able to see that, yes, the South Celestial Pole does exist, and it is no less valid than the North Celestial Pole. Also, there are a lot of stars in the vicinity of the South Celestial Pole, as you can see. There are several that are closer than one degree, and there are a number that are even closer than Polaris is to the North Celestial Pole. So, in a future video, I would like to show a time lapse of the stars rotating around the South Celestial Pole. I still have my intervalometer to finish so I can control the camera. Uh, I'm not far off finishing it though. I'll probably get it over the next few days. And what I hope to establish with that video will be the direction of rotation of the stars and that the stars are actually points of light and not smeared lines like uh, they are some sort of reflection of a firmament or something to that effect, which is part of one of the latest claims that some flat earthers are making. One other thing, I had a little issue with lens fogging the other night, so I will be constructing a lens heater as well in the near future. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Uh, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Have a great day. I'll catch you later.